Today we're going to talk about some key terms in electricity, current, voltage, and resistance. We're going to start by reviewing what electricity is. We talked about this in a previous video, so you can check that out, but we're going to review it quickly here. Then we'll talk about our key terms, current, voltage, and resistance, and the units for those terms, amps, volts, and ohms. So in a previous video, we talked about what electricity is. And we said that electricity is electrons in motion. Now, an electron is a little tiny particle. And when you have electricity flowing, usually you have many of those tiny electrons flowing all together. And when many particles move together, they start to behave almost like a liquid. In fact, we even use some of the same words to describe electricity and liquids. So, for instance, we say that electricity flows just like liquids flow, and we say that there is electrical current, just like there are currents in rivers and in the ocean. And since everyone is familiar with water and the way that water behaves, we'll use our knowledge of water to help us understand the behavior of electricity and also understand the key terms for electricity. So let's get started with some of those key terms. The first one we're going to talk about is current. Current is the amount of electricity that is flowing. So imagine that electricity flowing through a wire is kind of like water flowing through a pipe. You've got water coming in at one end and going out the other side. Current would be the gallons per minute of water flowing through this pipe. Okay? It's the amount of electricity that's moving, just like the amount of water that's flowing. Current is always measured at one spot at a time. So we could insert a little flow meter into our pipe and measure the flow at that particular spot, wherever the flow meter was inserted. So that's what current is. It's the amount of electricity that's flowing. The unit of current is the ampere, usually called the amp and abbreviated with an A. So now let's talk about voltage. Voltage is the force that pushes electricity. So again, imagine that water flowing through a pipe is kind of like electricity flowing through a wire. Um, the, one of the things that makes water move through a pipe is if one side of the pipe is higher than the other side. So imagine you have a pipe like this Voltage um, would be kind of like the difference in the height of the two ends of the pipes, the pipe here. So voltage is always measured as a difference between two points on a circuit, just like you would measure the difference in height between the two ends of the pipe. Okay. So current is measured at one single point at a time. Voltage is always measured as a difference between two points. And the unit of voltage is volts, and that's abbreviated with a V. Now let's talk about resistance. Resistance is the force that opposes the flow of electricity. Now we said that electricity is electrons in motion, electrons moving from one atom to the next. Well, resistance occurs because some elements hold on tightly to their electrons, making it difficult for the electrons to move from atom to atom. These elements have high resistance, and these types of elements are called insulators. Other elements hold on to their electrons much more loosely, and that makes it easy for electrons to move from atom to atom. These elements have low resistance, and they are called conductors. And the unit of resistance is the ohm, and it's abbreviated with omega, this symbol, which is the Greek letter omega. So we talked briefly about voltage, current, and resistance, and when I think about these forces working together, I always imagine this cartoon. I didn't draw it, but I think it really sums everything up nicely. Voltage is the force that's pushing electricity, current is the amount of electricity that's flowing through the pipe, and the resistance in ohms is the force that's making it difficult for electricity to flow. 
So that's a little bit about the three key terms, current, voltage, and resistance, and their units, amps, volts, and ohms.